Hello, hello everyone. <clears throat> I did not get back to this game as quickly as I wanted to. I was a little busy with some real life stuff. But uh, yeah, we're back at it again with Skull Island Rise of Kong playing the PC version here on Steam. Um, so I don't think this game is particularly long and I do feel a little bad for not getting it finished last time. But after about four hours, the game decided to crash on one of the bosses. So we left it there, um, but now we're back. And uh, yeah, we're gonna basically fight that spider boss again. And then judging by the achievement list of the game on Steam, there's only like one level left. So we should probably get this finished in about an hour's time, maybe a little less than an hour. That's what I'm hoping. I wanna get this done. I don't really care for this game. It kind of rustles my jimmies a little bit. So let's just get right into it. So I'll play this cutscene again for anybody who missed it the first time. And the letterbox still disappears for that one section. So the main menu was louder than everything else I realized. I had to like shout over the main menu. So yeah, it's a pretty simple boss with one little complication. You can't see shit because these webs are in the way. So last time it was just a case of like, uh, you basically throw rocks. Oh, come on. Oh, what am I caught on? Oh man, that is annoying. I forgot how annoying that was. So in typical Rise of Kong fashion, you mash one button to take care of these enemies. And then we just hurl a rock up there. If, oh no, you son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Oh, please stop moving. I mean, the thing is, we actually did beat this last time, but the game crashed. Oh, come on. Let me out. Oh my God. Oh my God, those enemies are just delaying things. This isn't really a test of skill, it's more of a test of patience. But I can honestly say that for the entire game. So I gotta find this fucking spider again. I don't even know if these little guys are worth beating up. Uh, shoot, where did it go? Be a lot easier to see if all this webbing wasn't in the way or wasn't so thick. This webbing is really, really thick. It makes it hard to see. So I'm just kind of looking up a lot of the time, just trying to find the spider again. Wait, seriously, where the hell did it go? Did it? It went back to where I was. Wow. Crazy. <clears throat> yep, I see it. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I can barely see it up there. And of course, the rock throwing mechanic isn't very good. Why would it be? Oh, crap. Like, this boss is really simple. It's just waste my fucking time. Ugh. 
I think I see it up here. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop! 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 God damn it! Oh my god. No! No! Oh my god. Oh, you son of a bitch. I could have gotten way more damage in. Oh, that is so annoying. What? Did I not hit that? Oh my god, fuck off with that stun shit. Like, it's hard to die? But again, it's just wasting my time. Get out of my way. Oh my god, fuck off. These white ones in particular are really annoying. Like these ones. Yeah, riveting gameplay, I know. So apparently this is the second to last boss, by the way. <laughs> I already beat this thing last time, but the game crashed as soon as I did the final hit. So naturally, because nothing, nothing nice ever happens in life, we gotta fight it again. And yeah, you get health back for doing those quote-unquote executions or whatever, but there's also like health flowers all over the place. So like, it's pretty hard to die. But again, it's just wasting my fucking time. Oh God, yeah, it's like, the stuns in like Overwatch 1 or like uh, the Force of Nature. Not, no, not the Force of Nature, the Sandman in Team Fortress 2, the baseball bat, yeah. Everybody loves getting stunned in games. Where the fuck did it go? And yeah, stepping into these webs like kills your sprint cuz you know, of course it does. Oh God, what the fuck? It's right above me? Yeah, it's so hard to see with all this web in the way. Oh my god, that, like, why? Why? Like, aren't you annoying enough? Yeah, if I just kind of wedge in here, maybe the other guys won't. No, they're gonna interrupt me, of course they are. All right. Oh, that stun is so annoying. Like, again, this isn't hard. It's just wasting my damn time. I think I'm just really annoyed because I beat this thing already. But the game crashed, so now I have to beat it again. Oh, come on. Fuck off. Shit, where did it go? I fucking lost it again. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, please fall. Oh, I, I can pick up the little guy. I didn't know I could pick up the little guy. Okay. Oh man, I knocked it down, shit. Oh my god, fuck off. Almost dead. 
No! No! Oh my god, fuck off! It's like literally no hits away. Oh my god, that's so bullshit, bro. Oh shit. No, 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 no. It did it again! No! Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Um. I showed this last time, but this is what it looks like on my monitor right now. This screen. So, on the stream, it looks like. You know, you got this screen. And on here, it's this. This is exactly what happened last time. Oh my god. Yeah, um... <clears throat> this is exactly what happened last time. And, uh, I'm stuck. Man, am I even gonna see the end of this fucking game? Yep, there it there it goes. There goes Rise of Kong. It's it's dead. Okay. Um oh, shit. This might be a little futile, but I'm wondering if there's like no, I don't think there's a guide or anything for it. Of course there's no fucking guides for this game. Why would there be guides for this game? <sighs> of course not. Okay. Well, let's boot it up again, I guess, and... I don't know, if it does that like another time or two times or something, this might be a really short stream. Oh my god, that is so bullshit. The fact that that happened not once, but twice. And I know I put the stream as there is no need to be upset. I know it's just a reference to the meme, but I am a little tilted at the moment. Because this is now the third time I fought this boss. Oh shit. tired of that animation if I'm being completely honest with you. God, stop! And this enemy's bugged out now.
Like, if it's just gonna crash over and over again, I'm probably just gonna put a cap on it, because, like... What's the point of trying to play a game you can't beat due to a technical issue? Like, just that it happened once was bad enough. But... Two times in a row... Man... Okay... Oh! Oh my god... And I lost it again, I love that. There's a little guy up there. Like... It would be nice if it made at least, like, a shaking sound or something. You know, some kind of indication that it's lurking around, but no, of course not. Why would it do that? just mashing one button does a ton of damage to it. It's just that I keep getting interrupted by these other enemies. Picked up the enemy and not like. Ah, oh, come on. No. It can only fall at like specific portions of the map, I guess. So like if I was to throw a rock at it now, yeah, it has to go to like a corner or something. Like this. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude, seriously. Every time I get so close and then the game just goes, oh no, we're gonna stun you for like two seconds. Oh my god. Go on, go to your little corner. Oh my god, fuck out of here. And it crashed again. And now I've got a black screen. I can't even see the menu this time. Like this, this is what I've got on my screen right now, this little window. So uh, yeah, this isn't looking good at all.
<clears throat> and now I gotta wait for the game to finish crashing and do it again. This might be a really short stream, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Yep, there goes the game again. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll try that maybe one or two more times, but I think instead of loading right into the boss fight, we're gonna try uh, loading a previous save if I've got one, which means we're gonna have to play some of the actual level again. Oh my god. Maybe there's like a graphical option that's causing it? I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing to really modify. I don't know. Yeah, it crashed for a second time. That's the second time this game crashed now. Yeah, same thing. Oops, uh, beat the boss, and the game crashes on the last hit. It's like not loading the cutscene correctly. Actually, you know what? I've got, I've got an idea. I'm gonna quit the game real quick, and I hate to do this on stream. Um, I guess I'll just have my window capture. Uh, no, wait, no, not window capture, desktop capture, just to kind of show what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna. I can't believe I'm doing this on stream, but I'm gonna do verify the integrity of the game cache This is literally the only other thing I can think of Maybe there's like a missing file or something. I have no idea Oh, I cannot believe I'm doing this on stream. Oh my god. Four hundred and forty eight files successfully validated because the last thing I want to do is <laughs> Fucking reinstall this entire game, but I will if I have to I will fucking do that so Put that away and let's try this again for the third time Good lord there we go. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go back that far. Uh, let's go to autosave too. Well, considering that it just crashed on me like three times of the same boss fight, yeah, I'm thinking this game is pretty bad. So I'm gonna try loading an older save, and yeah, all right, we're just gonna skip this. Cause I mean, you don't need to see that cutscene for a third time. What the hell is it? fucking bot Jesus Christ uh get the fuck out of here I'm in a bad mood now <laughs> anyway oh my god get out of my way
If the game crashes again, I might have to do a reinstall. We might have to reinstall the entire game on stream. Which, obviously, I would rather not do that, but... Yeah, it's not even like a fun boss fight or anything. Oh, it's just gonna go back to the corner it was in. Are you gonna make this easy for me? Oh shit. Oh, stop picking up the little guys. stay in this corner okay oh I hope we can kill it this time yay the game didn't crash let's go My fucking god, I never thought I'd be so happy to see achievements pop in this game. <laughs> oh, I guess we had to verify the integrity of the game cache or something. Now, I think there's only like one level left. So, I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's get this shit over with, because I am super done with this game already, and it's only been, like, 20, 25 minutes. Wait, where the hell do we go? Actually, yeah, where the hell do we go? It's not this way, is it? Oh, no, there's the gas right there. Okay, I forgot there was, like, this colored gas or some shit that leads the exit. Okay, so according to the achievements, there's only one area left. So yeah, we're almost done the game, which is good, because I am tired of dealing with this already. So yeah, I, th I think this is the last level, I think. I hope so. I think the achievements say something like, uh, that there's only five stages. Oh, right, there's a parry mechanic I have to use, right? Oh, I forgot these crabs were like the toughest enemies in the fucking game. Kinda getting my shit rocked by these little guys. Good lord. Oh, right. I'm playing Skull Island Rise of Kong. I can just run past all these enemies. I forgot. Silly me. 
I don't have to pay any of these enemies any attention. Um, honestly, I don't know what to feel about this game anymore, like, where it came from, why it was made, I don't know. All I know is that this is a game I've got in front of me, and I want to get it done and over with. There's been, a. Uh, there has been some stuff coming out about the developers saying that they were apparently crunched within a year. Ark. Who's Ark? Um, is this a reference I'm not understanding? Well, anyway, um, yeah, I guess the developers came out and said that the publisher crunched them in under a year to put this game out or something. And I mean, I can believe it. I mean, you can't really make a game in a year in like 2023. Not a good one anyway. I actually did look up the developers on Steam. They got a couple of games that actually look pretty good. This is just not one of them. <clears throat> but yeah, in true Skull Island Rise of Kong fashion, we're just gonna run past everything. Because I just wanna get to the end and I really don't care about any of these enemies. There's no reason to fight them anyway. It's not like you gain experience points or anything. There's nothing stopping me from running past them, so that's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna be a little bitch and we're gonna run away from everything. As we get lost in these very samey looking environments, just like last time. These are the parts that you actually have to be like you actually have to Yeah, I know I buy bad games on purpose. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Anyway, uh No, I don't want my refund. I already spent like four hours in this game. Oh shit Let's see whoops that was the wrong button. I think there's like that long jump mechanic. It's like this one. Yeah, this one. That's right. I paid $25 for this game on Green Man Gaming and if you're gonna give me a hard time, you can just fuck right off. Like, I'm really not in the mood. Like, I know what I spent my money on. Ugh, hold on. You're annoying the hell out of me. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Usually don't ban people in here, but that guy was being really annoying. Only two nests? That was it? Okay. Well, I mean, that's good. We can get this done faster. <clears throat> it's like, yes, I'm well aware that I spent money on a bad game. Like, that's why I bought it, because it's a bad game, and I like playing bad games. Um, I, I played several bad games in the past for my Twitch, um, and my YouTube. You know, like, this is, oh, this is backtracking, isn't it? Why would they even give you the option to backtrack? Like, I like bad games. I actually do enjoy going through bad games. And I mean, like, I don't know, I feel peop like people like that are just very annoying. You know?
Like, we streamed Death Crimson on here before. Like, I actually bought a copy of Death Crimson. Like, that game was way, way, way worse than this one. Like, bad games are kind of my thing. I kind of like bad games. You know, I might be getting a little frustrated now, but, like, I'll probably look... Like, I'll probably look back on this in, like, a few days, a few weeks, whatever, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, remember the, the bad King Kong game, haha, <laughs> you know, like, I like bad games, I like the experience of bad games, um, I think they also help you appreciate good games a lot better, you know, it's not uncommon for people to say, oh, this game got a 7 out of 10, it's so bad, when 7 out of 10 is above average, you know, but playing bad stuff, if anything, keeps keeps me a little bit more, like, appreciative of the hard work that goes into better games. And- oh, shit. And it's not like people go out of their way to make bad games on purpose, you know? Like, this game had an unfortunate circumstance of a bad publisher. They forced them out really quick. You know, that's not their fault. They probably just did the best they could under, like, 12 months. You know, like... And, uh, and yeah, honestly, like... That Golem game, I haven't played it, but that honestly looks worse than this one. Uh, let's see. I haven't played Nightmare on Elm Street, but the last game I streamed before this one was, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, that lock-on system's really bad. Um, the last game I played on stream before this one was, uh, Friday the 13th on the NES. Because I actually did buy a copy of that. Um, it's not great, but I can see where it could have been a good game. It kind of makes it disappointing that it's not a better game. Because, like, that game could be good if there were just a couple little changes. Oh, this is the right way, okay. <clears throat> a little confusing because there's like a bunch of areas in the distance with like vines that you can climb on. So I'm like, do I go that way? Do I go this way? And no, I just go the simple way. Oh yeah, these guys. Ah, oh, the stun mechanics back. And yeah, also there are some situations where sometimes you play a game that everybody hates, and then you play it and it's like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, like, unfortunately this game is pretty poor, but. Uh, Clash Artifacts of Chaos. I cannot say I've heard of that one, sorry. Is that on PC? Let's see here. Do I just go up here? This looks kind of iffy. It kind of looks like I'm supposed to go up here, but PC and consoles. Uh, no, but I will look it up after this. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. Oh man, okay, is this not the way I'm supposed to go? I guess not. Oh, am I supposed to go back and climb up those vines? Okay. I said this the last time I streamed this. I'm really not a fan of the level design in this game. Metacritic has it at a 61. Oh, maybe. I mean... <clears throat> that seems average, I guess, but like... I, I like games that are interesting, and bad games can be interesting. You know, if a game is just boring, then I'd rather play a terrible game than a boring game. As long as a terrible game is like interesting. You 
Yeah, there's like these vines and stuff, so I'm a little confused as to where I'm supposed to go again. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot these little raptors are devastating. Oh my god. Oh my god, where did my health go? Holy shit. Yeah, I think I have to climb up these vines. Oh, here we go. Um, I did recently spend a lot of money on some other stuff recently, so I probably won't be buying games for a little while. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, okay. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? There we go. Yeah, I'm just... I'm not really a fan of level design that you can easily get lost in. Like, the last time I streamed this game, I got pretty frustrated over, like, that bog or swamp or whatever that level was. That was really bad. Like, here, do I go to the left? Do I go to the right? Like, it's kind of unclear, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna make that gap. Um... <clears throat> okay. The Godzilla game on PS3. Oh, I haven't played it. All I know is something about generators or power supplies or something. I don't know. No, I, I, don't, I haven't played that one. That one might be interesting, though. Like, if I found a copy of that game, I'd probably, I'd probably buy that. That looks like the kind of bad game I'd be interested in. Uh, let's see. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's not... This roar mechanic is not very helpful in telling me where to go. Ugh. This looks like it might be the way. There's, like, enemies down here. But there's also these little annoying raptors. Oh my god! Enough! I think these might be the most dangerous enemies in the whole game. Because they just like... They hit you for 3,000 years. Oh, man. A lot of the horror games that I like are a lot older, though. I like uh, the ones that were on, like, the PlayStation 2. Like, PS1 and PS2 horror games. Those are my favorite. Not great. Um, was this not where I was supposed to go? God, this level design is so unclear. Yeah, you know, like classic Resident Evil or Silent Hill. Stuff like a haunting ground, you know, that kind of thing. Man, 
Man, I'm still not sure if this is the right way to go. All these levels, they just look the same. Yeah, the only reason I'm killing these enemies is because they do so much damage. Like, these bigger ones are actually less intimidating than the little guys. Yeah, these, li these little shits. I didn't really like the inventory system in Resident Evil Zero, where you have to, like, just drop stuff on the ground. I honestly miss the item boxes. I know the item boxes don't make a lot of sense, but I think they just played better. Like, I really hated just, like, leaving stuff on the ground and having to come back to it and pick it up later. Oh, jeez. Do I go down here? God, I genuinely cannot tell where I'm supposed to go, even with, like, the yelling mechanic. Because if I end up backtracking and I have to do a bunch of crummy platforming again, I'm not going to be very happy. Like, at least this way, I can easily make my way back up if it's the wrong way. Yes, this is the right way. The new Saints Row. Uh, well, it was developed by Volition, the same studio that made the other ones. Um, but yeah, they were closed, I think, last month. Um, I actually did stream that game last month. We, I actually did finish that game. Um, it wasn't very good either, but it was definitely better than this game. Uh, but... Yeah, it was still pretty bad. I'm actually really sad that Volition got shut down. Like, they didn't even really get a chance to redeem themselves or make a better game. Like, that that's the end of their legacy is that game. And that makes me really sad because, like, I grew up playing Volition games. You know, like, Descent and Red Faction and stuff like that. So, yeah, it makes me really sad. I think they deserved a lot better than to go out with that game. But yes, I, I did play the Saints Row reboot. <clears throat> oh my god, all these areas look the same. I hate the... Like, why is this little corner here? Just for a health pickup? God. Oh god, it's the stun spiders again. Oh no, you know I am not fucking with this. Nope. Uh too bad it's not like last time and you could just fall through there. <laughs> the screen shake. Oh, it's because I'm like sprinting. But this is the normal walk. Look how slow this is. Like, look at this. Sorry about the screen shake, by the way. Um, Fallout 76, I think, was a game that people initially hated. But I, from my understanding, I have not played that one. But I heard that it's gotten a lot better. Um, I don't know how much better. Maybe not better enough to, for me to really want to spend money on. But I didn't really like Fallout 4 that much. So I'm definitely in no rush to give that game a try, to be honest. I, I, I was not a Fallout 4 fan. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my 
please, enough, enough. Yeah, the thing about Cyberpunk is that, like, it was honestly always a pretty good game. It was just, like, a buggy piece of crap at the same time, if that makes any sense. Like, there's a lot of good things about Cyberpunk, but it was very, very unpolished. It is dramatically better now, so... It's a lot easier to recommend now. I can understand why people wouldn't want to buy it right away. But underneath all, like, the bugs and stuff, and there was a lot. It was a mess. But... If you could somehow get past all that, it was honestly always a pretty good game. Oh, uh, let's see. Might as well spend these points. I mean, it's like the last area of the game, so... Oh, we got some fart gas. I like how it's a dead end. That's cool. Wait, jungle wetland? Oh, no, 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 no. Not this fucking area again. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. This, this is backtracking. No, no, we're not supposed to go this way. God, I hate the backtracking in this game. It's not even necessary. I don't even know why there's backtracking in this game. It doesn't serve any purpose. Let's see. Uh, so from my understanding, there are a couple of different Star Wars games on the NES. There was one that we got in North America, and there was, like, one that was only released in Japan. So, I mean... I think it was the Japanese one where Darth Vader turns into like a scorpion or something. I mean like I'm sure I'm sure a good chunk of people interested in bad games have probably seen the Angry Video Game Nerd episode a long time ago. I genuinely just do not understand this level design. Like, it baffles me. Like, it's not the brain-dead combat that gets me, or, like, the enemy AI, or soft-locking when you land on platforms wrong. It's not that. That's not the stuff that frustrates me. Honestly, even the crashing on that one boss was pretty annoying, but, like, you know, pretty easy to fix as well, but... The level design. Oh, these levels are way too easy to get lost in, and it's not a good thing at all. That's what really drives me nuts. The NES Ghostbusters game. I th that game. That game honestly looks pretty annoying. I don't know. Maybe I should give it a try, but I don't know. I'd honestly rather just play the one on the Genesis. That one actually looks pretty good. Or Mega Drive or whatever. I live in Canada, so we call it the Genesis here, but I understand it's the Mega Drive in most territories. Oh, man. You know, now that you point out the screen shaking, I can't not notice it too. <laughs> like, I think I've just learned to like, I've like adjusted to it. I'm just kind of used to it now. But now it's like, oh, yeah, you're right. That is, that is enough to give anybody a headache. And considering that you spend a lot of this time just running away from enemies, 
Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh man, an armor set. I can't wait to put this on. I guess it's to emphasize like his size. Um, but he feels so small in this game. Like he feels tiny. Oh, you, th you think there's options in this game. That's very cute. That's very, very cute. So these are the video options, right? <laughs> Quality settings high. I'm lucky there's even a V-Sync. <laughs> You've got some very standard audio options. And that's it. Th that, there's your options. You just got a control layout. Oh, I should probably mention this game only works with Xbox controllers. Um, I'm using a PS4 controller. I have to use DS4 Windows. Oh, what do you even do in this game? I'm so glad you asked. So you run past all the enemies until you get to these sections. Then you kill all the enemies. And then you continue to run past all of the enemies until you eventually get to a boss. And that's the game. Oh, shit. Oh, and you get stun locked by every enemy in the game. That's tons of fun. Like that. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> oh god, don't- please do not remind me of Overwatch 1 Brigida. <sighs> but yeah, you basically just run past everything until you're forced to fight things. Uh, you do some platforming in areas that are really easy to get lost in, and yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the game. It's, uh, riveting. And this combat that you're seeing, this is pretty much the gist of it. Like, you mash one button to do a three, a three hit string, and sometimes you hit a shoulder button to do a shoulder charge like this and it stuns enemies and yeah like this guy's gonna come up he's gonna shine right he does that little shine and then you shoulder charge him and that's a parry but yeah that's the that's the whole game it's a very very simple game There's not much more to the combat than just this three hit string. This is it. There's like one button for this backhand, but it's not very useful. There's still an enemy here somewhere. I'm still locked into this area. Let's see, according to an article, this game development took only a year. Yeah, there's been some art. <laughs> Look at this enemy just hiding out here doing nothing. I can't even get to him because the wall's there. Oh my god, he can't either. Oh no. I have to kill this enemy, by the way. I can't even- oh my god, I have- What? What? I can't even make this up. The last enemy was hiding behind a barrier. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. But yeah, I mean, there's been some articles and news coming out about how this game was only given a year to be made. And, you know, in the current year, you can't really make a good game in a year. You know, like... Even stuff like Madden, you know, they've already got an engine and stuff to work with, but they have to pump those games out every year, and the quality shows, right? Or the lack thereof. So, like, how is a small Chilean developer supposed to put out a quality game in less than a year? That's not very fair. Also, this might be the end of the game, so hold on to your butts. Ah, yeah. There it is. 
That's the boss that killed our parents at the beginning of the game. We're gonna get our revenge. The whole point of this game was to kill this thing, by the way. So here we go. Oh shit. Oh, come on, get out of your stun, please. Yeah, you just shoulder charge it on occasion. It... If you shoulder charge it, you stun it and that's it. I should probably get that health. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Get out. Get out. Come on. Come on. Oh. Whew. I'm just trying to, like, show. What? How am I stunned? All right, primal rage time. Let's go. No! Oh my god, no! It was one hit away. That's bullshit. Yeah, you can do this little shoulder charge and that counts as a parry, I guess. That's what the game calls a parry. Damn. This is, I'm, I am not good at video games, clearly. Oh my God, please get stunned again. That stun is so obnoxious. Like, words cannot describe how obnoxious that stun is. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know. And the thing is, it's not even any harder. from this long, far away. Good lord. All right. It's time to go ape. I'm gonna die again. I have no health. Seriously? I got cooked. God damn it. Son of a bitch. I mean, I guess it would be appropriate for this to be actually kind of challenging. Bro, I shoulder charged you. I carried you. What the fuck? Oh my God, this is nonsense. That's what's getting me killed more than anything else is that like scream or whatever. So what, do I just shoulder charge until it eventually gets stunned? I guess so, that's the strat. I guess we just shoulder charge until it eventually gets, yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? Please, this stun is obnoxious. Okay, I know. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I'm almost dead again. That's great. Oh my 
god. I cannot believe this stun bullshit. That's awful. Come on, get parried already. Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me, bro. There we go. Jesus Christ. I don't know why the window to parry this thing is so much smaller than everything else. No! No! Please! I've had enough of this nonsense. Away. Come on, bro. There we go. Oh my god. Damn, hit him with the shore you can. Let's go. Yo, he's got the Mario 64 tech on lockdown. Damn, he hugged him to death. Unwilling to abandon his place. Among the defeated bodies and the spilled blood, Kong had been reborn. The king of beasts. You know, credit where credit is due. I do like that narrator. That was pretty much the ending I was expecting. <laughs> Oh, it's over. We had to crash on that one boss like three or four times. We had to re-verify the integrity of our game cache because it didn't install correctly the first time. We had to go through all that getting lost in the bog and the other levels. We had to get lost through a bunch of stuff. We were stun locked for 50 years. 50 something years we shoulder charged our ways to the little guys did i like the game hell no hell no i did not like this game but you know i have definitely played worse um that was certainly an experience though um you know, for 25 bucks, that's not bad for a bad game. I mean, like, for a, it's still a bad game, but for like 25 bucks, if you're into bad games like I am, you know, $25 on Green Man Gaming, that's not bad. You know, um, but like I said, I love shitty games. Did I have fun playing it? Uh, honestly, no, it was pretty boring. Um, so i was saying earlier that a lot of the game is like there's a bunch of enemies and you don't really have to fight them right you can run past everything and uh there's some sections where you do have to fight like enemies in a little arena or you have to like take down nests but that's the only time where you actually have to stop right the rest of the game you can just run past everything so you're either fighting enemies in the occasional arena or you're fighting the boss and a lot of the bosses aren't very interesting sounds kind of contradictory uh, i know it does it's sorry um i don't know how i'm supposed to explain this it's a little hard with the music it's a little hard with the music i'm just Shut up. Shut up. Let me gather my thoughts here. Okay. So, I guess to just 
summarize that game. So it's not very long. It's, I mean, even while getting lost, it takes maybe five hours, maybe a little less. So it's brief. Um, the combat is extremely simple. There's like, you mash the one button to do a three hit string and that's it. There's like a strong backhand attack, but it's useless. You've got the shoulder charge, which acts as a parry and it's useful for some enemies, but for a lot of the game, you really do just mash one button. Uh, the game doesn't really stop you to do combat very often. Most enemies you can literally just run past. You can literally run past like 90% of the enemies in this game. There are occasionally sections where you have to like stop and fight enemies in an arena. Um, but it's not very often. It's the only time where the game actually gives you skill points. The skill points don't really feel like they do a whole lot to the game. Kong never really feels like it gets a whole lot stronger. Um, the level design is so incredibly confusing because everything looks the same and the levels are really wide and open, but occasionally there's like uh, split paths and it's easy to take the wrong turn that just leads you to like a health pickup, which isn't really necessary because you can do like if you weaken enemies and then you hit like the R2 button, you do like the takedown and that gives you health back. The combat is generally pretty simple. I think the final boss was like the only somewhat challenging part of this game. Uh, this game doesn't have difficulty selection either. There's only the one difficulty. There's no easy, normal or hard. So if you wanted to play this game on a harder difficulty, I don't even think it exists. Um... The platforming is very, very basic. I think there were like PS1 platformers that had more advanced platforming mechanics. The fact that you're like a gorilla and you can't even like mantle up of ledges is really bad. You know, I, I think even Bubsy 3D had that and Bubsy 3D is Bubsy 3D. Um... But yeah, I, I think most of all, it's like you just kind of run past a lot of stuff until you occasionally mash one button for a while, and then you fight a boss, and then you do that for five levels. Five levels that you get lost in for what feels like an eternity. So it is irritating, and it is boring, Um, but like I said, I, I like bad games. You know, I I get a kick out of bad games and seeing how they could have been better you know there are definitely ways this game could have been improved with like without having to rebuild the entire game like the combat could have been much better or like like there could have been more variety like saying hitting square and triangle instead of just square the whole time you know even if it was more like a muso that would be more interesting or like having an experience system from fighting the little guys so you actually have an incentive to fight the normal enemies. Um, but yeah, the game was crunched in under a year. And I i mean, it's not the 90s anymore. You can't make a game in a year anymore. And if you do, it's not going to turn out very well. So I mean, like, I do feel bad for the developers. I do genuinely feel bad. Crunched in nine months. Yeah, even worse. Even worse. You know, I heard that it was under a year, but nine months, that's... Yeah, you can't make a game in nine months. Honestly, it's a miracle that you can get to the start and finish. It's it's a miracle that this game was even finished. So, uh, you know, yeah, I feel... Yeah, I feel really bad for the devs. Um, but I'm also glad that I experienced this. I'm glad I got to share it with, with everyone here, with you guys, except for that one annoying guy who was in chat earlier. Um... You know, like, I, I I genuinely enjoyed the experience of bad games. And I played a lot worse on Twitch, and the VODs are on YouTube. Um, like I said, I own Death Crimson. Uh, games like Not Treasure Hunter. You know, like actual Kusoge. I really, really like garbage. I, I like good games too, but I like garbage. Um, I love the experience of all kinds of video games. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. And if you didn't, well, sorry. <laughs> That's the game. But uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for sticking in the chat. 
thanks for talking with me thanks for your insight even just like having things to say about the development of the game i'm glad that more information is coming out on this game because you know like i said nobody makes a bad game on purpose there's a story behind every game especially the bad ones and sometimes the bad games have the most interesting stories behind them truly game of the year contender for real for real oh zelda nah nah baller's gate <laughs> fat chance hi-fi rush no way it's all about skull island rise of kong damn we got two games this year that play like ps2 games we got we got hi-fi rush which plays like a ps2 game in the best way and we got this game, which plays like a PS2 game in the worst way, like in a shovelware kind of way. But yeah, I do genuinely feel bad for the people who they, they tried their best. I shouldn't say that. Like, that's a rude thing to say, but that is kind of what it comes off as, unfortunately. Oh, did my game? Oh, nope, nope. Okay. I guess the title screen just refreshed. <laughs> Fun. Um, yeah, uh... I do like you know like i said the developers they've got some other games on steam a couple of them actually look like genuinely good games uh what are they called like what what are the developers of this game called again is there is there like a credits screen no no i i missed it but uh you know what, I'm going to do something a little different instead of like just instead of just like ending on the title screen, I'm going to do something a little different. So we're going to go to the store page and we're going to go to Iguana B. And they've got a couple of other games and they're even on sale right now. So, yeah, this GI Joe game doesn't look particularly great, but the other two notable games they've got are this Head Snatchers game, right? Looks like some kind of four-player party game. Came out like in 2019 here. But you know, this honestly looks pretty pretty fun. You know, like maybe $20 might be a little much, but it doesn't look like a bad game. You know, this looks this looks good. Like this looks like a game you could have fun with. And then, whoops. I love Steam. Love Steam. Thank you, Steam. Thanks for the back button working on Steam. And the other game is this one. Um, this seems to be, like, co-developed by Iguana Bee, but, like, <clears throat> this game actually looks good. Like, this little indie puzzle platformer game. This actually looks, like, genuinely quite good, um, and it's on sale. Now, I'm in Canada, so it's a little bit more expensive than it would be in America, but I'm going to end this stream by promoting these games because I feel bad about like everything the developers went through and you know, their game is getting shit on really, really hard. So I'm going to end this stream by promoting these other games from Iguana B uh, and just getting the word out that, Hey, they didn't just make the shitty King Kong game. They actually did make a couple of other genuinely good games. Uh, you know, it's not every day you see games coming out of Chile. I think that in itself is really cool. So I'm just going to end this stream by promoting these two games. And uh, with that, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on the stream. Uh, thanks for participating in the chat. Thanks for uh, watching the VODs on YouTube if you did. And uh, yeah, just thank you so much for being with me. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye.